Former President Trump has been found in contempt of court for a tenth time now. The judge agreeing with one of four alleged gag order violations prosecutors recently argued. The judge fined Trump and he also warned him jail could be next if he doesn't stop. CBS 2's Alice Gaynor was in the courtroom as his criminal trial resumed. The witnesses they want to bring up, they have nothing to do with the case. This is a ridiculous situation. The former president spoke in the hallway before entering the courtroom. Minutes later, a judge ruled he was in contempt of court for violating the limited gag order for a tenth time for comments made about the jury on a show last month that he again raised the specter of fear for the safety of the jurors and of their loved ones. The judge said fines didn't seem to be serving as a deterrent and that as much as he didn't want to impose a jail sanction, I want you to understand I will if necessary. Jeffrey McConney, the former Trump Organization controller, then took the stand, describing record keeping and accounting practices at the company. A bank statement was displayed. He testified it had then CFO Alan Weisselberg's handwriting on it. It broke down a $420,000 bill for Trump's then personal attorney, Michael Cohen, listing a wire transfer to Keith Davidson, who was adult film star Stormy Daniels' attorney, and a tech fee. The amount McConney explained was doubled to offset taxes. It also listed a bonus. Bonus. Cohen was paid in $35,000 monthly installments. On cross, McConney told the defense he rarely had conversations with Trump, and when he did, they did not talk about accounting. On redirect, prosecutors asked if he was privy to conversations with Weisselberg and Trump about Cohen's payments. He said no, and when asked, said he came to learn Weisselberg left him in the dark about a lot. The defense maintains payment to Cohen was for legal services rendered. Trump is charged with 34 felony counts of falsifying business records. Eric Trump was in the courtroom for a second time. So far, he's the only Trump family member to attend the trial. Court is back in session tomorrow. Outside of Manhattan Criminal Court, Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News.